Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Rick with Hit Run Candlesticks, and I've got uh, four charts that I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to, adding, making sure they're on our watch list uh, for today and going forward for the next 10, 15, maybe 20 days. Uh, we may or may not buy them today. We may or not may or may not buy them tomorrow, and the same as next week. We'll wait till they are set up the way we want them to be set up and uh, we'll wait for the market uh, to have our back so let's take a quick look at these the first one is going to be this riot r-i-o-t i've got a stop set up now this is all assuming that we buy inside this box area if we buy inside the box area on the low side of the box on the low side of the box we're going to look at about 1435 as a stop. If we buy on the upper side of this box, we'll have to adjust this stop immediately. If we buy at the upper side, there's no way we can keep a 17.4% uh, stop in there. We just can't do that. So, uh, depending on where we buy it, <clears throat> excuse me, depending on where we buy it, that's where we'll adjust that stop. And then we'll look to take profits on the way up, like we always do, just as it starts moving like this. And then, you know, it, it'll, it'll, we're pretty sure it'll, it'll pull back and test again, make another one of these type chart patterns right there. And when it does, then we'll look to get back in it and take the next run up. <clears throat> another chart we're looking at, now this one here, uh, I'm looking to add to it, is what I'm looking to do. Uh, I already own the chart. I bought this yesterday. I bought this yesterday based on our three bar chart, putting in a morning star type chart pattern, and then uh, finishing the day with a doji continuation or a fig newton type chart pattern. So what I'm looking for now is follow through bullish follow through on yesterday's candle um, something like this right here up and then consolidate something like that I think uh, I think what we'll do let's drop that box down just a little bit right like that and let's put that stop on there um, right now we're gonna put the stop at about 44.90 let's paint this red there we go. So that's what I'll be looking for. Um, as it moves up, we will adjust that stop upward, and then we will always take profits into strength as the road to wealth account does. HWN is another chart uh, I'm watching here. And if you take a look at this, we've got a nice little uh, sideways consolidate, consolidation in here. Uh, here we've got a nice little flag with a little flat trading pattern so see how we broke out of that and here's another one right here here's another one right here um, love that chart pattern setting up um, like a pop out of the box uh, so right there let's put that chart set it up that way uh, we'll put the stop in here so we'll uh, mark that and I think we'll adjust the stop to oh well, it may be a little high. There you go. Uh, around this $27.10 mark, looking for a buy inside uh, the box there on HWM. Uh, the last trade idea I have here today is going to be McCormick. McCormick had a nice little pop yesterday, breaking out of the 50 period moving average. You can see this uh, downtrend that we've got going here. There we are and you see that we've broken out so I'm looking at this as a positive chart now um, from here up we'll look at look for it to go up so if we just take this and just extend it that's kind of what we're looking at um, as far as a buy box goes we're gonna lay that buy box right in there like that uh, what I would like to see is an inside day buy inside of this candle right over here Let's throw the stop in there. Let's paint this red real quick. There we go. There we are. 
Now I'm going to adjust that stop a little bit. Uh, maybe something like that right there. Um, $93.95. I'll round it down. Uh, so there we go. Uh, nice little entry here. I like the way the chart has created this little bottom. And then we popped out on good volume. All right. Uh, on the SPY, the SPY put in a bearish engulf yesterday. Uh, it has not broken the trend, so I'm not... I, I'm, I have lots and lots of caution in the market, but I'm not at a point where I'm bearish yet. There's, there are some charts, bearish charts, that are working for a lot of folks. Um, but the market is still bullish, so I, I have to remain to the bullish side. Uh, so let's see how today finishes up. We're getting close to that uh, holiday weekend coming up, so we stood. We could start to see a little uh, slow trading uh, going into the uh, rest of the day here, and then tomorrow. Remember that we are our our trading room is open to the public today. I will post a link uh, down below in the chat, so uh, on how to get there. Okay. Um, let's take a look at. Uh, FNGU. Now this is a chart that this chart guides me more than any uh, indice chart does. I, I love following the SPY. I trade mostly from the SPY um, on what the SPY does. But this chart plays a huge, huge part uh, in my trading. And uh, this is the FANG stock or big tech. Uh, I keep this on the LTA scanner. I can always see what the big tech is doing. And uh, that I think that's a very, um, I think this is a very strong indicator how the market goes forward, whether it's up or it's down. And right now on this chart here, despite the SPY has a bearish engulf, despite that IWM does not look very good. Here, let's look at IWM. IWM has a bearish engulf with follow through. Despite all that, I'm going to get rid of everything. Here we go. Despite that, this is nothing more than a little pullback so far. Nothing has been destroyed. Nothing has been broken. The trend indicator is still green. So, a crazy amount of caution, yes, but this market has not gone bearish yet. Um, so, back into FNGU. There we go. Uh, looking at this chart, you can see how it's continued to climb with normal pullbacks or uh, breathing. I, I consider this breathing. So uh, we uh, uh, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's trying to inhale again uh, and move up. It may meet with a little bit of a little bit of a uh, little bit of a problem right here. Um, it certainly might do that, but. Uh, Overall, the chart remains bullish here, so we can take a line and let's just connect this low with that doji low over here, right there. And right now, that's what I'm watching. We we push below this line, then what I'm going to do is keep an eye on the trend indicator. As long as the trend indicator remains green, I'm going to remain bullish on this. The trend indicator starts to turn red then I will have a ton of caution. Uh, red would be like this over here, or right in here, or right in there. Um, what else do we have here today? Oh, let's look at VXX real quick. <clears throat> VX, <clears throat> excuse me. VXX really tried to get going yesterday, but the reality is it did not go anywhere. I know that you know, a lot of people, they get excited. Okay, this is, you know, VXX, it's starting to move. I hear things like that. 15-minute charts starting to move. This thing's not going anywhere till it breaks out. And watch the trend indicator here. <clears throat> when, we get, when we get the trend indicator good and green, good and green, and when price rallies up, when it does, that trend indicator will turn green. And when we have a successful... Um, low, higher low, and we break out. And based on the way the VIX has been doing this, VI, VXX, if we get to that 50 period moving average, it scares itself to death and runs back down. So honestly, you know, the, a lot of people try to make money on this chart. 
but I hear from a lot of people that, that it, they, they hate it because they keep losing money. Don't hate the chart. The fact of it is, <clears throat> excuse me, the fact of it is, it's not ready to go up. And you can't blame the chart for that. Don't get mad at the chart. Let the chart pattern set up and let's not try to pick a bottom. You'll probably make more money. Anyway, uh, there we are. Uh, heading into the long weekend. This is Wednesday. There's still tomorrow. Um, there probably won't be much trading tomorrow, though. Again, remind everybody that we are, our trading room is open to the public. Please try to come in, say hi to us, uh, check out some of what we're doing, ask questions, join in. We'll see everybody later. Check below for the link, okay? Take care. Thank you.